He's 30 years old and is an Aries. He's played for the Blues. He's played for the All Blacks. And now he's playing in Japan. The first time he played with the All Blacks, he was named Man of the Match. When he plays, he wears his parents, partner and kids' names on his wristbands. And if he wasn't a rugby player, he'd be a surfer. And please welcome the man of many talents to the studio via Skype from Japan, Jerome Kaino. How are you? Hello, how's everyone? I'm good. Good, and you look good too. You're also celebrating Superhero Day. Tell us about your costume. Yes, I am. And uh, today I'm Green Lantern, uh, one of my favourite um, superheroes. So these are the one of many numbers that I have that I've got for this today. Outstanding. Now, Jerome, you have moved your whole family over to Japan to play for the Toyota team. How's that going? Oh, it's going good. Um, I'm loving the rugby here, loving the life. Uh, the Japanese people are very friendly and very um, hospitable. So, it's, uh, no, it's a great experience living here with my family. Anything in particular you, particular you especially love about living in Japan? Oh, I love that it's totally different to New Zealand. Um, you know, it's a different culture, uh, food, you know, I love Japanese food. So, um, yeah, it was something that we had to get used to, but we, we, we actually love. So, um, yeah, I, I love all aspects of living in Japan. And what about the rugby? Is it different playing over in Japan than it is playing in New Zealand? Yes, the rugby is a lot different to New Zealand. I, I wouldn't say it's, uh, it would be difficult to compare both of them, but um, obviously the the language barriers um, a challenge here, but we have um, translators that help us with that. But also the intensity of rugby is a lot different to what we have back home. There's um, you know, the caliber of players in New Zealand and South Africa and Australia are a lot, I'd say, a lot more experienced than the players here. But um, you know, I, I enjoy the rugby here. It's, it's fast and, and players are willing to learn. And I, I, I'm still learning a lot from the players here, so it's um, enjoyable. And I mean, even though you are away, you're still involved in New Zealand and helping out our kids over here because you're an ambassador for child cancer. Yes, I am. I'm a proud um, ambassador. And you guys have got a big, big project at the moment, so tell us about that. Yes, in July, we, uh, uh, the month of July, we're launching, um, uh, it's called a, a, day for, uh, a, day in, a Day for Child Cancer cancer and uh, it's it's where you just give up one day to, to help raise money or to help make awareness for, for ch children with cancer so it's um, any day in July where you, where you give up your time to to, to raise money or to, to, to do something to, to help um, children with cancer and um, it's all to do with the song um, one of True Bliss's songs that we're playing at the moment isn't it Yes, it is. Um, last year, the girls um, uh, ripped, ripped the song and they, and they sing it. And it's called A Minute of One Day. And um, yeah, they wrote the song last year for, for children with cancer. Excellent. So how can we help out, Jerome? So you can help out by, um, well, True Blizz and the girls, um, with, from True Bliss, Megan Alatini, uh, Megan Alatini's leading, leading this. They are holding a competition, a dance competition for, for schools. And um, how you can win is by creating the best dance. And also another way to win is by raising the most money. So if you want to find out more information on this competition and and to get more information, you can go to www childcancer.org.nz Excellent. Nice work, my man. And it gets better because he is sticking around. Coming up, he is going to answer your Facebook questions and show us his hat collection. So don't go far. Oh, 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 here we go. Welcome back. Joining us today, the man himself, all the way from Japan via Skype, Jerome Kaino. And um, you are celebrating Superhero Day, as we all are. But um, what we'd love to see right now, Jerome, is your hat collection. Yeah. Um, well, I've started a little collection that I've uh, 
I've got some baseball caps and some other hats that I've found on my travels. But um, yeah, I've got about 26 hats, but I'd say my two. <laughs> <laughs> and that's your son Kobe with a pet horse. Yes. <laughs> He's joined in on Superhero Day. He's got um, Superman on. Excellent. But um, my two favourite hats, I'd say, is this one. I haven't worn it yet, but it's an Obey hat, and I got it from Hawaii. Wow, so cool. I, I really enjoyed that one because I, I really enjoyed that trip. And um, also another favourite one is this one, which is um, my favourite um, NFL team, Steelers, Pittsburgh Steelers. Nice. Which is yeah. the most expensive, do you reckon? Um, I'd have to say, I don't know, I'd say probably these four. Oh gosh, look at them. Oh, these three, because they're, the, uh, they're called Diamond Era hats from New Era, and um, they're not expensive, expensive, but they're probably the most expensive out of this bunch. Kobe, you are a mighty Superman. <laughs> it's just made our day. Now, um, Jerome, we've found some pictures on your Instagram, and um, I must say, looking at this photo, it does look like you are a little bit of a giant over in Japan. <laughs> um, how do you find it? Um, I'd say I'm a little bit taller than the average person here, but they um, they have a lot of tall, tall people walking around. But if I were to walk to the supermarket, I'll definitely get noticed um, for my height. Oh, excellent, excellent. We've, we've got another one. Um, it's, it's a snake, but I'm not sure what kind of snake or what's going on. Yes, I, um, that was at the local um, spring markets they had here in Nagoya. They had a pet section where um, I, that snake is called uh, yeah. albino Burmese python. Wow, um, so many. It's not poisonous, thank goodness, but um, uh, yeah, they definitely have a strong grip if they um, wrap themselves around you. But the minders were, were pretty good in helping me out. So many adventures you're having. Jerome, thank you so much for joining us on the show this afternoon. No, thank you very much for having me. And all the best for the rest of the season, and hopefully we'll see you back in New Zealand sometime soon. Thanks, Sharon. Thanks, guys.